Hello! So, it looks like uh, Napalm Death is going to be releasing a brand new album in March. It's going to be called Utilitarian. Uh, and I've just listened to two tracks of that. Um, and the links are right below the video. Uh, the, le the tracks are Leper, Colony, and Errors in the Signals. Now, if you watch my previous video, in which I reviewed Cannibal Corpse's new track, Demented Aggression. Uh, my main verdict on that was that the, the musicianship was killer, the, the execution was killer. It was a, 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 an overall killer death metal song, no doubt. But songwriting-wise, I feel it's, it's a little bit stagnant by now. It, the, the Cannibal hasn't changed much in the last few albums. Um, it's their commitment. That's what they do. It's fine. I respect that. But my opinion is that it's getting a little bit repetitive for me. And here comes Napalm Death, a band that has been around longer than Cannibal Corpse, going on 30 years. And these two tracks are just absolutely brilliant. Um, grindcore, you would think it's a more limited uh, genre or, or style, and uh, Napalm Death is just giving that notion a big fuck you, basically. Um, they, uh, if you listen closely to those two songs, I mean, you'll notice the dynamic changes. Uh, there are clean vocals, and on uh, that second one, the uh, error. Errors in the signals. Uh, there's even a freaking saxophone. All right, and of course, it's not a beautiful saxophone. It's a dissonant. Imagine a guitar going full throttle with some dissonant uh, double stops and chords and but on saxophone, which gives it a different, obviously, a different tone to it, a different texture. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, that Cannibal can do. I'm not saying do that exact same thing. I'm saying just think about your songwriting and think about what you feel you can do that's different. Where, where do you think you can take it? And again, that doesn't mean make it so that your music is not death metal anymore. Obviously, if you again, if you listen to these Napalm Death tracks, it's it's brutal. It's insane. It's just broken up a little bit by different variations, okay, and different sounds and different textures. It's not all the <laughs> that would have gotten boring ten years ago, let alone you know thirty years in. Okay, so this is this is my beef. Okay, uh, um, I'm a little bit older than I look. Hopefully, I'm thirty six. So I've been listening to metal uh, since the late 80s, okay? So by this time, I expect something a little bit different. Otherwise, I don't need the same record 20 times, all right? So, I mean, if you're creaming your pants over the new Cannibal Corpse song, that's fine. But I repeat that I'm still not that much impressed with it. Uh, Napalm Death, on the other hand, is definitely killing it and it's definitely bringing different elements and they are very nicely incorporated this is not just uh you know a random mishmash obviously napalm death's music is very frenetic very hyper so obviously all these elements are just it will sound crazy to a non-fan to a non-grindcore or a non-death metal fan but if you are familiar with napalm death you will know that these elements have been carefully uh, integrated into this cauldron of madness that is Napalm Death. And that alone, to me, it borders on genius. So, Napalm Death, Utilitarian, March 9, a little bit before Cannibal's, uh, Cannibal's uh, CD release date. I'm looking forward to Napalm, much more than Cannibal Corpse, and this is something I've never thought could happen. But as time goes by, things have changed. Keep it metal, guys.